guys, welcome back. I'm Lisa Childs from TriedTestedAndTrue.com where I share with you Instant Pot inspirations and ways to feel confident using your Instant Pot. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make white rice in your Instant Pot perfectly every single time. As you can see, there are so many different kinds of rice. We have brown rice, white rice, long grain, short grain, medium grain, and it all results in a different kind of a texture and mouthfeel. Today, we're going to be making plain long grain white rice. It's usually the cheapest one you can find at the grocery store. For this recipe, you will need white rice, water, and salt if you want. The ratio I use for my rice is one to 1.25. That means if you're going to cook one cup of white rice, use one and a quarter cup of water with it. This is how I make my white rice. I usually don't rinse this kind of rice. You can if you prefer, but the packaging on here specifically says not to rinse the rice so it can retain some more nutrients. I usually rinse my Japanese white rice or if the package tells me to, but this one doesn't, so we're just gonna go ahead and scoop it right out of this little container. If you haven't watched my pantry tour video, you can go ahead and watch that one. It's where I got these awesome containers. So we are gonna do one cup of rice. I'm using a quarter cup so it fits in this little pantry container I have. And this is the same kind of rice that I use to make my famous rice pudding recipe. I just got the sweetest comment on it today saying it was the best rice pudding recipe that they've ever had. It made me so happy. I've got one cup of rice in my Instant Pot and then I'm going to add one and a quarter cup of water just right on top. And then I usually just give it a little bit of a shake to make sure that it's kind of distributed evenly. And then that's it. Some people like putting salt or oil in their rice. Using oil will make the grains not absorb quite as much water, so there will be a little bit more of a bite to them. So I just prefer to do water and rice. Now that we've got our rice and our water in our Instant Pot, we're going to put the lid on. Make sure that your knob on your Instant Pot is turned to ceiling every single time you pressure cook. It will never come to pressure and you will be super sad. So we've got it on ceiling and then we are going to cook for three minutes on high pressure with a 10 minute natural pressure release. If you decide to press the rice button on your Instant Pot, it's just a preset, it will set it to 12 minutes on low pressure. So I am going to do three minutes on high pressure by pressing the manual or pressure cook button and then adjusting to three minutes. Once the Instant Pot beeps, that means it has recognized whatever number that you have put in there and it's starting to cook. Once the Instant Pot has pressurized and the pin has come all the way up, that means that it will start its pressure cooking and it will start counting down. Once the Instant Pot has finished pressure cooking for those two minutes, an L will appear on the screen, meaning lapsed time, and then you'll wanna wait until it says L10, or it has lapsed or naturally released pressure for 10 minutes. After that, we can just open up the Instant Pot lid and your rice will be done. So if the pin is still up, then just release the rest of the pressure by turning your knob from sealing to venting. After the pin drops, we can take off our lid. So we'll just take this off. And the Instant Pot will automatically go on keep warm mode. But with rice, I don't recommend keeping it on the keep warm mode for a long extended period of time. Otherwise, the rice will dry out. Now we've got our rice, it looks perfectly done. When you're ready to serve your rice, you usually will use a rice paddle or like a wooden spoon or something like that. But here's a tip, if you wet your spoon or whatever utensil you're going to use to scoop your rice, it will prevent the rice from sticking. So we've got our rice paddle and we're just going to fluff up the rice. It looks great. All right, let's scoop up some of this perfect instant pot rice. Got this in here and it's not sticking to the bottom. It's perfectly cooked, but if you taste this version and you want it to be a little bit softer, if you don't want quite as much of a bite, all you have to do is just add a little bit more water, maybe a quarter cup, and add a little bit more time. This is how much that one cup yielded, and it's perfect for just a little family or for about one to two servings. We're gonna go ahead and just take a little taste of our rice. 
The rice is cooked perfectly. I like my rice to have just a tiny bit of a bite to it, and so this tastes perfect for me. But there you have it, that's how you make perfectly cooked white rice in the Instant Pot. If you like this recipe, check out my Instant Pot rice pudding recipe that you can certainly make with this rice or the leftovers. We'll see you next time, bye.